Instructing your solicitor is the first stage in the conveyancing process, as your estate agent needs their details to send out the memorandum of sale. There are several documents your solicitor needs. Once they have all of these documents, they can complete a title check and raise any legal inquiries. That means they ask the seller to provide further information on any issues that they find. Don't worry, we run through what all these documents are in our other videos. After you've instructed a solicitor, they send out a welcome pack. Now, your first job is to return to your solicitor your proof of ID, proof of address, and your signed purchase questionnaire. Get these documents back to your solicitor as soon as possible, as no work can be undertaken until they are received. Check the length of the chain with your estate agent. A long chain can take much longer as it can take time for all parties to get themselves ready. If you've got a long chain, you shouldn't spend any money on property searches or surveys until you know your seller has an offer accepted for their onward purchase. This protects you in the event that the chain collapses and your seller no longer wants to sell to you. Now that you're underway with your solicitor, it is time to move on to stage two, how to fund your purchase. 